Hello everybody, welcome to my second match of the second season of Blood Bowl Super League up against Fatin, who won his first game versus Flicky Flack. Uh, this could be a very crucial game. Uh, if he's got PTK's amazing build of the Blood Step Guard, Blitzers, all three dodge on the catchers, a wrestler, a blocker, and a leader throw. It's a really good build, isn't it? It's got everything you want. It's it's a great, great build. Obviously, Fatin is really good at Blood Bowl. I quite like my build as well, though. Five guard is pretty good. Got the Ogre, got the Tackle Mighty, got a couple of catches for speed. Got 12 players and three rerolls. And uh, yeah, so it should be pretty interesting. I'm going to try hard for this. So find me as on commentary. So I shall let him take it away and choose. Hello there. So yes, we have the Blitz uh, BBS, BBSL game, Blood Bowl Super League game here. Fatim versus uh, Jimmy. As Jimmy said, he needs to focus. I will do the chatting here. The useless commentary because any of these two coaches is much better than me, but uh, there you go. You are pro elves versus humans. Jim decides to kick, which I think is also the best option uh, versus elves because elves love to kick. Alright, the game is already also in Cabal TV. So for those that don't know what the BBSL is a format with some of the some of the best or well known streamers. So it's supposed to be an elite com competition following the Blitz Speed format, which is a one minute terms resurrection format. So all teams have the same TV and all team uh, and after every game any cash or anything like that gets just ignored. And that's it, Blitz Speed the format it was invented by Jedainik. A person that actually invented something for Blood Bowl. And here we are. Team going for a. I mean, at this level of TV, there is not much space for a fantasy tactics. So, Jimmy went for the classic. Lots of uh, strength, lots of guard, even in the catcher. There's a catcher with a double. Then I like that a lot. I like that. It gives him a lot of mobility. Mighty blow tackle. Even blitzer. Thrower with block. Blitzer with uh, guard. So yeah. And the ogre, because the ogre is really good for humans at this level. And Fatin going for the catcher with blotch. No tackle, which I think is a, a risk. Oh, and there is a riot, so Jimmy has less time to play bullet ball. She always enjoys that. Blocks, all those uh, step guard uh, bleachers, really good. But I think in this catcher, we has a Wrestle dodge, a very thing, Wrestle tackle. Trust in the G4 and go for the a proper uh, brawler. There. Fatin did not go for the Daka. Or if he is doing it, he's doing it very bad. <laughs> now here goes the Blitz. Oh, 
obviously the brothers are gonna need to be really lucky to try to get any cast without any mighty blow. So they say how aggressive he wants to be. I mean, he has uh, options to put a lot of pressure on the ball, but they involves more or less leaving one of the sides absolutely free. Powerful pushes. That will show him. First 75% of the Jimmy Fax. I'll get the pawn out and the pawn out. Mm. And that's all the time, sorry about this. Time. Oh! Armor break! Yes. Yes, it's time. Blitz to the blitzer. Here's the pow. Good. All right. Lots of basing by part of uh, Fatin. I'm not sure if I like that. He needs, probably needs to dodge the player next to the ogre and the one on the floor. Well, the one next to the ogre, yeah, because he can uh, hit him with the lineman and free the ogre anyway. Oh, rolls the one and lets it go. Maybe that player that was a uh, lineman on the floor could have tagged the, the ogre in the top uh, left square. So the ogre can go there, but end of the day, Jimmy has more than enough guard to cover for uh, the ogre. And I think we're going to see a blitz of the tackler on the blotched stepper guard. I'll be really surprised if there's uh, any other option. There you go. Here's the pow. No need for Jimmy, keep the animations on. Jimmy, you're hitting me. Maybe you should check the animations. Because they take time from the time. Now the pro elves. Little trouble. They have a DC to get free. But they are not uh, much faster than humans anyway. So the humans more or less can uh, get them wherever they go. Fatin has a reserve. I don't know if I like that. I mean, that's a 60 TV that maybe could have been a... Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, there you go, so it. Expected. And now, time for Jimmy. I think I've more or less covered it well. Any possible hole. And again, uh, I think Jimmy is going to try to target those uh, bleachers any chance he gets. Soon he will be able to afford to do a greedy reroll with that because he has three rolls and it's turn four. I know what they're gonna do is gonna cover all the holes so the blood stepper can only go next to the ogre. Two dice into three dice. Wait, three dice? No, two dice, two dice. Nice move there because after all doesn't cause any mind to reach, doesn't lose any put much position there. So happy days. And here is the thing, every day the Pro Elves want to score, they are going to be able to score. Oh, it's going for the three dice with the Ogre, yes. That's alright. Let's the Ogre one square closer to the ball. And now because the movement of the humans is so similar to the one of the elves, this you know massive block of players in the center can more or less go wherever they want. If the elves try a move. So I like that. Maybe left the right side a little uh, empty. And I think this is it. This is uh, Fatin doing the. taking the chance. Green and maybe the catcher should be one square down closer to the line. And another scoring thread just in case. Tackle has worked there. Only if Tackle has worked there. Now here is the thing. Jim can bleach one of the linemen at the bottom of the, the screen. I think this is a mistake by Jimmy. He's uh, investing too many players trying to fishing for paws. He's the power in the village, and now he can. He has 
a hole where he can uh, just flood players. Annoying bastard. Didn't get it. How many? Four blocks without a bow. Jesus. That is the one that could probably is gonna give uh, Fatim the score if he wants to score. One dies there. Just fishing for a chance of maybe getting a cast or something. And now, well, if the players want to score or stall for another turn, I think they have a very good chance of doing it. Absolute nightmare. Pretty decent screen, maybe. Uh, yeah, the tackler can reach the ball unless what? Well, magic dies. The catcher also needs magic dies. I think we're gonna see the tackler going for the. Oh, there you go! Something happened. I was thinking exactly the same thing. I was thinking, Jesus, it's, it's only one minute. Tackler <laughs> taking on the. Oh, going for the skillless. Jesus, what a disaster. What a disaster. Uh, rolls there. Nothing uh, there, there is a roar. That's the EFI. Oh, bonus head in the ogre. Nothing works today. Absolutely nothing works. Whoa, what a punishment. Massively punished. Harsh, harsh. Cutting the pow. He's actually going to try to store for another turn, which he will do. He still has the rerolls, so he will the catcher next to the side. And cover him. Well, 
Well, for the three dice, wise move. That's all right. The catches are block. Always better to carry the ball with someone that block instead of Wurzel. Oh, fail the dodge. I mean, that's more than half a roll, so. Okay, now time for who to bleach. Probably I'll go for the leader uh, thrower. That's no skill, and if you take him out, is a uh, one player less. Because the. Yep. Oh, now you roll the power. Oh, there you go. Cast. Apple. Is a roll. Yes, instant apple. Yeah, the exposure leader, yeah. I mean, the chances of actually getting the gas weren't very high, but they were there. Also, Jimmy should absolutely 100% a million uh, things go for a foul in this uh, blotch guard on the floor. I mean, destroy. You have uh, a free lineman, we could solve it on the foul. Oh. oh my god, the snake uh, failed the dodge. One in nine, what a game! Unbelievable! But yeah, we'll put these players here and fail, make the foul with the lineman. Almost seven to assists, maybe we could get three assists. And now Fatin is going to think, uh, maybe I could do a, a blitz here or hit something. Maybe hit the guard with the... The guard blitzer with the URSLL uh, is. But other than that, just a score. Nil for uh, Fatin that did more or less everything as expected, everything working his favor part of the plan. And uh, Jimmy had bad luck with the rules. But yeah, there were a couple of uh, times, yeah, they're not foul at the end. That piece, bro. Hate them, hate them. They must die. And that time when uh, Jimmy blocked the too many times the those guard a mistake that for example I think that I've seen uh, for example happened to Jimmy in his uh, chalice game those bloody uh, blotch guard the uh, bleachers hitting them can be a horrible trap. Well, classic elf defense, more or less leaving one side, you know, you want to go to the side. It's free to go. Come on, Jimmy, he's offering you one of his uh, blodges, step guard, you have tackle, mighty blow. 
do it. I don't know why this guy is in the LOS. I think that's a mistake from Fatin. He lost the run out of time. I mean, both his beast pieces can be hit easily. And he has run those uh, linemen or other pieces to cover for that. One turn on here with the humans. I mean, possible. I see. Yes, I think he's. Uh, I mean, yes, you have to try, it's turn eight. Oh, annoying assholes. Yeah, the touchback, yeah, is what makes it possible. No respect, but... Usually, humans are not very good at passing the ball. There you go, get the powder, which more or less works. Good. It's not possible. Or I'm missing something here, but the blotch step. Or the roll gets him. I have time. Uh, risky one tar defense for part of uh, Fatin. He was exposing one of his best players uh, necessary, but without the apple and uh, Jimmy having the mighty blow tackle, could have gone very, very bad. Jim Foul didn't make sense because he was only a lineman that he could hit. So, and uh, he has a uh, one on the bench that is a problem from the bench, so even if you cast him. That's it. It's going to be 11 men anyway. If he was one of the blood guard, yeah, of course, guaranteed. Quick score. Fatin uh, has put this uh, the guard, the blood guard, in one the side, but may looks like expo exposing him. But if you blitz him, you have to invest resources in the part of the field where you have more players. So make the going for to the touchdown from the left side even harder. And Jimmy, I don't think it's funny for that. He just blitz with a mighty blow on the lineman with other skills. Oh, perfect defense, fantastic.
I'm not very sure about Fatin uh, doing this the right move because now it's actually exposed the blitzer. The tackler can reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Can reach very easy for a punch and if you can put tackle in three pieces. So Jimmy has the chance to more or less uh, isolate a good chunk of the Pro Elf uh, team. Oh, but he's going for the line of that. Oh, Kyo! Good, mighty blow, doing nothing. Oh my god, not even sure hands work. Oh, oh well. G oh, Jimmy drops the GG. Turn 9 uh, GG. Fighting on the pressure, the equity shift. I can feel it on my bones. Yeah, I mean, uh, Surhan's fail is just the last fail in a long chain of fails and disappointments by the human team. The die is well in, uh, on the Jimmy's side today. Funny enough, now Fatin has to think uh, what to do. Because the obvious thing is, oh, just go for the ball. I mean, you have players, you have any of that, but... Oh, first thing that goes Jimmy's way. Oh, Rowdy there. I mean, could have gone for with a catcher, but okay. Fatty needs to do something because right now, all this only means that the blood guard gets hit by tackle next to the sort of hand the thrower and. Oh, beautiful justice for Jimmy Akeo. And now Jimmy has the left side more or less free. So if he is able to recover the ball, move it around, he can protect it very, very well. Now gets the pow. Come on, into death. Okay, another cow, Keo. They are, that's it, the timely GG, as always, put on the mental pressure. Oh, nice. Nice scatter. Because he can move the guard uh, catcher, or even better, the blitzer, the guard blitzer. Move down there. You can two dice the catcher. Absolutely relevant, uh, more or less what you get. Uh, yes, I'm not Jack, but yes, I will stay for the Chanter game. It is Job is done, it's my rest day from the gym, so yeah, more or less I have nothing better to do. Okay, Jim is going for the cage. Sure hands works this time. Ooh. Ooh. Thank <laughs> you. 
I would have preferred Cage a little more to the left and maybe one square or two higher. Oh, well. All in all, very good turn for uh, Jim. The Pro Elf's team is cut in half and doesn't have enough uh, anything to create actual danger because the Blood Stepper Guard is, is close to the bowling uh, squares but he needs to do a lot of things to reach it. I mean, could go for the base, the Abletcher and Blitz it with another piece. Oh! What? Holy! But, okay, that's rowdy. Oh, da. Okay. That's, that's even rowdier. I mean, okay, there are four plus with dodge, but there is more than a few of them. Wrestler, seven day. Okay, and now this is it. If Jimmy manages to give the ball to the Bleacher Gate guard that is at the right and that guy runs away, that's it. It's touched down. Another KO. Good. And now, if Jimmy covers the... Uh, well, he doesn't uh, want to even hit right now the... Oh, Jimmy! Very conservative here, doing the cage here. Are we going for the draw instead of the win? I mean, now you actually have to start thinking about, yeah, this is it. Let's go for it. Jesus Christ Almighty. This is the most powerful early GG I've seen in a long, long time. One, two, three, five KOs, one cast, no apple for the Pro Elves. Absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. Now fighting with only five players, not much that he can, that he can do. Not a cast, absolute dicing. Yeah, yeah, there are no pro elves anymore, there are only dice.
And that's it, that's the speed of the humans is necessary, they have a lot of glitches in the catcher. Mm. And now Fatih can do the classic glitch to base the ball. And not much else. That or try to, you know, get into the cage like a madman. There you are, we want to see the ball a base in there, ball base in there. There you go, ball base, patting, did it, managed it with the leader nonetheless. There are bases in the ball and there are bases in the ball. This is one of the bad bases in the ball. But I mean, with five players, like, you have to go for uh, Jimmy, you know, running quad skulls or something like that. Oh, is he going for the surf? Yes. Gets it. Nothing. Jesus Christ Almighty. Fucking catcher. I don't think I'm not sure that if that. Hand off, oh well, that was for scoring with just one GFI. But again, it was two GFIs to score uh, with the with thrower. I don't know what are the odds. If this was a three plus with a reroll and a two plus with a reroll, or just two two plus with one reroll. Oh, lucky, lucky. Lucky scatter for Fatin. Oh, fuck me for going for the win here. And that is why you never, ever, 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 ever go for the win against Pro Alves. <laughs> All right. <laughs> fucking idiotic. Absolutely fucking idiotic going for the win there. I should have just taken the fucking draw. Fuck's sake, man. He I, tempted I, me I, down to one re-roll. He fucking tempted me. When, like the, that's why I said I'd given up for going for the win because I knew I, would, you know, I knew I had the chance of scoring early, maybe. And then fucks. It just it's fucking moronic. It's literally moronic trying to win against fucking elves. Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Well, they still have a decent chance for the draw here. Oh, it was so fucking dumb, though, wasn't it? I think uh, you have a uh, the you uh, you been maybe in the first turns a little conservative. You could have gone a little higher, a little faster, but that's it. And you could have scored with a thrower. It was two GFIs. Well, he was base though, so I'd have had to blitz him off and then GFI. Plus, then there's more chance of using the reroll, isn't there? And I just wanted to uh, to surf that guy. And then obviously might have cast him, which would have made going for the win better as well. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there were, there were lots of, right there were lots right of good there, things yes. about trying it. It was a one in nine and then a two plus with a roll to score. Yeah. I shouldn't have done it. Never works, is it? Against fucking elves. Fucking elves. Well, you have more after the GG. You have a few glorious turns. 
<laughs> yeah. Two cover for the first half. Oh, there you go, another one. No, but going for the winning was stupid. Like, once I'd made so many fucking cars, it tempted me. It tempted yeah, me. Yeah, that was it. That was it. There was a moment when they were uh, you had a blitzer in the LOS with the guard, and all the elves were uh, down or behind. You could have made a beautiful potato there for the for the victory. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, doing the case, playing safe. No, going for the win is just a bad idea. Against elves, like they don't need any players. Like you saw there, they had what fucking five players in the field, still popped the ball, got it. He could have punted. Like, <laughs> like, even now, with two elves on the field, he might still stop the score. Unlikely now, with two elves left. Okay, but, that's it. That's it. The draw is guaranteed now. It's not. It's a 1D. Like, I it's know. It's a yes, one turn. Yes, that's right. That's right. And then it could just it could just bounce to here, and then this guy could do, what, a 4 plus? Uh, well, if after he powers him, it's a four plus to there, then a three plus, then a two plus. Pick up the ball, and he's away. Like it's, it could still happen. Oh, did he pass the turn? Yeah. All right. Well, it could have happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was, I was thinking. Why he is he trying to explain things? Oh, that was a real good happen. strategy from Fat End. That would have worked. That was a, yeah. That was great. That was a great strat. That was a fucking great strat from Fine. <laughs> Holy shit! Make the opponent in revealing his plans, you know, like the, like in the James Bond movies. Oh, that was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. Little did he know I had a team to help me. <laughs> now, nah, to be fair, it wouldn't have happened if I was on my own anyway, would it? It was only because I was fucking talking. Oh, fuck, I'm so hot. Yeah, I'm regretted going for the win there. Like, it. At first, there wasn't enough to go for the win, you know? At first, there wasn't enough, yeah. and it was only after all of the removals that going for the win seemed still ill-advised, but I thought I'd do it to please other people. Oh, no, we were t talking here in the chat. I went, when I stand 11 or something like that, I would seriously consider just uh, going for the win and start making a foul, uh, a couple of fouls here and there, and go for the win because, yeah, it was looking good. Mm, but then... Yeah, there was one turn when uh, you could have pushed for, but again, it's one minute, and it was your conservative uh, nature versus your desire to win nature. Yeah, it was, it was dodgy. It was certainly dodgy to have gone for it. Uh... I think the first half of your biggest mistake was uh, trying to knock down the blotch guard guy that ended absorbing four players. Yeah, I, mean, what, I think it was the turn before that, you, to be honest, when I crammed through to get the 3D with the ogre, like, that just wasn't worth it. I should have just kept the shape. Once he was there, I couldn't. I didn't really have any choice but to hit him because he was in the way, and then he sidestepped and he was in the way again. He sidestepped and he was in the way again. It was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, um, it's pretty fucking hard when he's got blood step if you don't power him, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I couldn't get around him. I, the, I don't think I could have got around. Maybe I could have done. Maybe I could have tried to just get around him. But I could have gone for the win here, actually. Like, his chaos did stay out horribly. But then I'd made more chaos by that point as well, hadn't I? So, I don't know. I don't think it was as easy. I really think going for the win would have been really stupid earlier than when earlier, I tried to go for it. Yes, but from turn 11, 12, I think there was a really, really good chance of uh, trying to go for it. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Anyway, also, I, yeah, I could have changed, I could have moved the catcher up to the front corner instead of the lineman, and then he would have just yep. been in straight range to score with a handoff instead of having a handoff in GFI. But, you know, still, I thought, obviously, I was more scared of the handoff than the failed GFI anyway. But there you go, that was all right, wasn't it? Um, you know, draw versus fighting is absolutely fine. Um, maybe I should have received in the first half to try and get the damage going. Um... But of course, you know, that the defense can be annoying, right? Like, I was more scared of losing. Like, I think yeah, if I kick, it's a draw. It, it, you know? The, the failing state and losing is just too, too devastating in a short competition. Yeah, yeah, basically. But it's, it's very difficult to come back from a, a loss. You Maybe you can have one per season, but not many more. 
Yeah, exactly. So that, that was the thing. I was thinking, you know, if, if I kick, it's probably a draw because I probably don't stop him scoring, but maybe I do, you know, maybe I chip some players so that I've got an easier time scoring myself. So the kick was really trying to get a draw. If I'd gone for the win, I would have received and hoped to bang out a few guys and score anyway, and like, which is great if you can do that. But obviously with Bloodstep, Garders, yeah. the, 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 your offence is pretty scary against Pro Elves. So I decided to go for the kind of, you know, way to get the 1-1 draw and then try to push for the win it was literally going for the win that handoff like if I'd just been content with the draw I wouldn't have done that handoff I would have just blocked the guy free from the ball and just played the thing was safe. Uh, going for the surf you went for the surf and that's, that's in the it's in the note it's in the post it never surf yes I know yeah yeah but again I only went for the surf because I was going for the score but I really shouldn't have gone for the score I should have just played safe got the draw guaranteed really nearly fucked it there that was that was pretty terrible but uh, never mind. <laughs> Lesson learned. It's not worth trying to please other people if it upsets yourself. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Zero percent in catches. Thirty percent in pickups. Good. Good. Good stuff there. For. <laughs> yeah, the early GG was effective, wasn't it? Super effective. Yeah, it was early absolutely, GG. absolutely masterful. I mean, after that was, that was when uh, the tide changed and you just more or less started a, uh, uh, cast uh, two elves per turn. Yeah. Um, right. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Fat. And that was the that was the play I was most proud of in that game. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fimea, for the core commentary. Absolutely glorious thanks. as always. Ah, it's always a pleasure to be here. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>